Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Brianna. I've already posted on this channel, but I did um, buy a camera yesterday, so there's gonna be more interesting videos on my channel. So I plan to do more sit down talking videos, like what's in my makeup kit, just more talking videos rather than um, makeup tutorials with voiceovers. I just think, um, I don't know, I've always wanted to do it, so I just brought a camera and we'll see how it goes. My channel will be like still makeup based. I might do a vlog every now and then when I have stuff on. But yeah, I want to like base this channel around makeup because I do makeup. <laughs> if you don't follow me on Instagram, my name is Beauty by Brie. Today I am doing a get ready with me and I'll be answering a few questions that you guys have asked me. I do the Instagram questions box. So yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get into it so i'm just using the remington keratin and argan oil curler type thing it's just like a curling wand so i love that and then i also just have my remington smart styler this is now discontinued but it's the best like i love it because i used to always um use ghd but they kept blowing up and i don't have time for that you know so i always part my hair and before I get started, I just like to make a disclaimer. I don't know if what I do is right. I just do my shit the way I do it, all right? So if that's wrong, I'm sorry. If you don't like the way I do things, I'm sorry. It's just, it's just how I do it. Then I'm just gonna section it off. So I don't know, like just sections for each bit I wanna curl. And I wrap my hair around the curler and then put my heat glove on and then hold the curl in. I don't know, you'll see how I do it. Let's start off with answering some questions. I did do like a questions box on Instagram. Um, and then after that, I'll probably just speed through, like fast forward some of this, cause it, like, I think you guys will get the idea. But yeah, I'm just wrapping my hair around the wand like that. And I usually count up to like 15. And then what I do is I, just do that and then I pull the wand out and then leave the heat in my hand and then once my hands cooled down then I let the curl drop so I pull it out and I'm still um, like blocking the heat in my hand once it cools down then I drop so it's very curly which I like because then I brush them through and they give you like the like Hollywood type waves which I find are really pretty well, since I'm doing my hair, I might start off with like hair products I use. So I used to love the M-A-U-I, that brand. I think it's like Maui or something. It's all organic. I love that. Um, but I ran out the other day, or the other week, and the shop didn't have any in stock. So I've been using the OGX Argan Oil one. But it leaves your hair really soft. But I've seen on a page that it's bad for you, bad for your hair. So... After I use it, then I'll probably just never use it again. Oh, I just burnt my neck. Great. Oh my god, it's gonna look like a hickey. <laughs> and I do apologize in advance if this is just a bit like everywhere. It's my first like proper like video using my new camera which I brought yesterday so I thought it would be a cool idea just to sit down get ready and just have a little chat because I always get um questions like how do I do my hair how do you do makeup what products do you use so I'll show you guys what products like I use for makeup also don't forget like to comment what you'd like to see I have heaps of people saying skincare because I did a questions box on Instagram and my skincare is not that like I feel like it's boring like the video would literally be two minutes so yeah if you have any other ideas let me know but maybe I can add my skincare into like a makeup tutorial like do my skincare and like my everyday makeup look oh it's like going red already <laughs> I'm going to go on my phone 
and I will look up the questions. So first question is, what is, are your favorite brushes? So I'm obsessed with Morphe brushes. I love Morphe. They're really affordable as well. Their shipping's really good. Um, but yeah, I love Morphe. I have two of their brush sets. Um, I think it's like Bay's Fabes, Bay's Fabes or something. I'll link them in the description box. But when I started doing quiet makeup, um, well, uh, so I had cheap and nasty brushes before I started doing quiet makeup. But when I wanted to upgrade, I got these two sets and yeah, I still have them. Of course, like I've added individual brushes as well, but they're the main, like they're the staples of my kit. It's what I made my kit from. This is really burning me today. And my neck is on fire and I know you should put ice on it, but I can't be bothered. Oh. Okay, next question. What fake tan do you use? I use the Le Tan Uber one or something. It's in the purple bottle. It's like the purple butterfly I meant. It's a black bottle with purple butterfly. It's violet based. I used to use the green base, but I found that it made my tan, like I looked green. So I did not like that at all. What I do is I put Vaseline on like my the dry bits of my body, so like my um, elbows, my knees, the back of my heels. Um, also, where else? On oh, my knuckles, on my fingers, because the tan often like sticks to them. So if you put Vaseline on it, it's like acts like a barrier. So like as you can see, probably looks really bad. I don't know, but I feel like they're not that bad. Like, because normally my elbow is black and it looks black, but in person it doesn't really. I did put the questions box up like midday, so I haven't got very many questions. And most of them are the same, just like what brushes I use or what's your favorite eyeshadow palette, what makeup do you use? So I'll show you that like when I do my makeup. My favorite eyeshadow palette is the James Charles one with Morphe and the Jaclyn Hill with Morphe, the collab. Um, I don't know, I feel like they're very versatile, they have all the colours you need. The James Charles has a perfect amount of like neutrals and browns as well as like colour. So if you're a makeup artist starting out, I do recommend the James Charles, like the formula is really nice as well. Um, the Jaclyn Hill palette's really good for like your browns, bronzy, like orangey, reds. I really like that one. I do have a giveaway when I hit 5,000 subscribers on my Instagram, so stay tuned. Some of the products I am talking about today may be in there. So just stay tuned on my Instagram. Um, yeah. All right, well, I might speed up this bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just wrapping the curler around my hair, then leaving it in for like 5, 10, 15 seconds, and then trapping the heat in the glove. That way it just gives it that extra effect. So I'm going to do that to all of my head. Okay, so I've just finished my like, hair. I'll come back to it after. So I'm now going to start my makeup. Okay, so first of all, I start off with the Aveeno um, Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I use this all the time when I wear makeup, when I don't wear makeup. And I just apply that with my hands. I don't, I just have normal skin, but I really like that. Um, like sat like dewy look like nice and glowy look so i feel like this does the job now i'm going in with the mac peach light strobe cream 
and well, as well this video is like very chill like I yeah I just thought it'd be cool just to film me getting ready I have a major draw at work tonight so yeah but on my channel I'm definitely going to be doing like tutorials showing you guys how to do like colored looks just basic looks I want to do like jasmine hand style like type videos where I just set, set up my camera in the salon and like film like all my you know makeup for the day um but yeah I just thought like I know it will keep me occupied because um my partner's away at the moment so yeah um, foundation I'm going in with is the NARS Radiant Longwear. I use this all the time, as you can see. I don't know if that's like focusing, but they're literally empty. I'm using the Melissa Sassine sponge. It is so good. Like, if you guys don't have this, like, you need to get it. Actually, I have to remember, I should, um buy some more to put in my giveaway because I seriously can't recommend it enough. So I'm now going in with the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swans. This is one of the lightest ones. Now I just put this on the high, like the places I want to highlight. So under my eyes and then just a little bit on my forehead, down my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin. So these are the areas I just like want to bring forward as such. See this sponge just works wonders. Like I didn't even do anything, but I just like pat it in and it just like is so perfect. And it's just like so soft. Like it, I've never, honestly, I've never felt a sponge like this before. Because I've tried, I used to be obsessed with the Kmart ones, they were $3. They were actually really good and soft. Um, not this soft, but they were good. Um, but then they changed them. It's like they changed the texture. And of course I stocked up. And then they were just all shit. So I gave them away to my sister and stuff. Um, and then because of that like happening, then I tried Morphe. Which are good because I had I used Morphe on myself like all the time, but yeah I just didn't really like it. Like it was hard, and of course I brought like five of them. I'm now going in with the Huda Beauty Contour in the shade Light. I don't normally cream contour, but because I'm so um, so tanned at the moment, like I have to. Otherwise, it's just not normal. So I just chuck this on with. It's a Real Techniques brush. I think it's a foundation brush. I don't know. But. Yeah. And I don't even know. But this is not how I do client makeup. The way I do my makeup and client makeup is so different. So I just thought I'd say that. I'm very rough like with myself. And like what is this? But it's just what I do. Then I go in with the buffing brush from Real Techniques and literally just buff that in. I can't use like padding like swiping motions because you don't really want to rub your foundation off or anything. Another thing like I have started YouTube, I only have two videos, they're client tutorials. Because I always get worried, like, I am quite, like, a shy person. And I'm like, people are going to think I'm so boring. Because I even think I'm boring. Like, I'm a boring person. I just work so much. And, yeah, like, I, I'm just shy. Like, I don't know. So, hopefully, you guys don't mind. Hopefully, I'm not boring. I'm using the NC30 Studio Fix Powder from MAC. I use this all the time because it doesn't have flashbacks so that's always good i am in like a bit of a hurry because i have to do my mom's hair as well we have to leave at five it's now three like two hours 
but I haven't even finished getting ready. I'll probably be like on a, another hour. Now I'm going in with NC42 and NC45. I'm mixing them like both together because NC45 looks so dark. But I'm so dark at the moment. And my face has to match my body, so. Okay. Now I'm going in, in with um, bronzer. So I use the Hula by Benefit and MAC Disney Sun. So I have the um, Cheek Leader palette from Benefit. So it has um, two of the bronzers and some blushes and a highlight. This palette is really good. I love it. I take that on the top of my forehead and then like up my temple and then on my cheekbone as well. So this is like my go-to makeup look. I like to be bronzed, glowy, golden. Um, when I go out, I never really do eyeshadow. I just do like some brown. And that is it. Okay, I'm gonna read some more questions. Um, so I got a question, what made you decide you wanted to do makeup? Um, it was really like random. Like I never thought I'd be like a makeup artist as such. Like, I've always loved doing makeup on myself, um, but yeah, I never, like, when I was at school, was like, oh, I want to be a makeup artist. It kind of just happened. I'd always have people, like, messaging me saying, like, hey, do you do makeup? Hey, do you do makeup? And then one day I was like, stop it. I should just, like, start, like, doing makeup. So I did, and I, like, you know, I'd have a client once in a blue moon, um, and then yeah, I just kept going with my Instagram page and now I'm booked out until November. So it's crazy. Like, I can't remember. Like I know my mom kept pushing me to do it. Like, why don't you do it? Do it, you're good at what you do. Like, um, so yeah, I guess she just kind of like helped me do it. And then like she gave me the courage <laughs> and motivation to do it so I started doing it and then yeah I just really fell in love with it but practice makes perfect and I'm always learning I feel like it's an industry you will just you will never stop learning there's so many tips and techniques every artist is different so yeah I'm really glad that I did get into it because I enjoy it so much now I am going in with the Anastasia soft brown brow powder jewelry. What is that? And in with the Zoeva brow line 322 brush. I'm seeing just then I brushed all my brows up. I'm gonna line them and I don't even know how to, I don't know how I do my brows, but I try and talk you through it. Um, so yeah, that's what made me decide I wanna do makeup. Um, I'm not qualified, I am self-taught. I did look into like TAFE courses, but they're like seven grand, like five to 10 grand or something. And I'm like, I know hygiene practices. It's just more, I wanted to know how to do makeup. And I feel like these days there's so many artists that do one-on-one -on -one lessons, master classes, and you can learn so much from them. Where if you go to TAFE, um, there's just, like I've spoken to so many people saying like TAFE wasn't worth it like they just showed you like basic stuff like how yeah basic makeup but if you guys are artists like starting out definitely practice on yourself like do people's makeup for free and when you're comfortable enough like do some one-on-one -on -one lessons like there's so many people that do that these days and I feel like they're better as well because your one on one with them. Like they you have their advice right there and then like when you need. 
Um, so yeah. I'm just gonna concentrate on this. <laughs> Another question is, how long have you been doing makeup for? So I've been doing makeup on myself since I can remember. I always did makeup on myself. And I wasn't good, like at all, obviously. I look back at photos and I'm like, wow. But I guess you have to start somewhere. Um, but I've been doing it for a year and a month on clients. So it was a year on the 1st of July. So yeah, it's very exciting. But that's not like I've all, when I, I don't know. That's when I started like taking it seriously. I made the Instagram page and that was up for maybe like a year before, but I'd post like only makeup of myself once every like few months. I'm going in with the Tarte um, Shape Tape to just clean up my brows on like a flat, a multi and a double shoe full brush. I'm just put that on the back of my hand. Now going in with the Morphe Debutante Bronzing Powder and I just use this as eyeshadow. And that's on the Morphe M454 brush. Using the Ian Fiery Matte Palette that's from Beauty Bay. It just has those colours. I'm using the darker brown, which is brown suede on the Morphe 454. This one's just from Sports Girl, it's a small crease brush. But I just blend that into the first shade. I'm gonna deepen it that little bit more, so I'm gonna take Black Truffle from the Huda Beauty palette. Now I'm going to take the Stilla Silver Lake Heaven's Dew, it's like a nice shimmer, and just pat that on my eyelid with my finger, just to like the inner corner. I'm now going in with highlighter, the Doll Light Duo in the shade Like a Diamond, it's just like that darker bronzy shade. Sun cane. Some on my cheek first, down my nose.
For lashes, I'm using Kiss Cosmetics in the shade Destiny. I've never tried this before, so I don't know what they're like. This style, I meant. I'm going in with the Morphe Sweet Tea liner. Still are caramelo liquid lip. Would you take a chance and go somewhere under the summer sun, summer sun? Hey, you standing over there. Would you take a chance and go somewhere under the summer sun, summer sun? I'm going to do my hair. Hairspray, when you can profile. And I just drenched my hair in that. So we just took all the curls out. I'm now going to brush them through with this comb. It's like a wide tooth comb. Now I'm just going to hold like in the middle and just brush through like the end. Okay, and that's how I curl my hair. It's quite simple. So that's my hair and my makeup done. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's probably just very um, like rocky and a bit all over the place, but it's my first time doing a video like this. So I will get there eventually. In the meantime, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Wait, is it even like? I don't friggin' know. <laughs> Something, just, you know, just do what you gotta do. Um, and let me know what videos you'd like to see next. Bye!